Imagine stopping Alzheimer's disease before it even starts. A new nasal spray could eventually do that, but it's still in the early stages of testing. I tell you, this would be a breakthrough. Mm. Fox 13 News reporter Eliana Sheriff spoke to one of the just 16 people in the entire country within that clinical trial. I've been married for 48, nope. 49 years. Got it. This East Coast couple who have been together for over five decades are now taking on Alzheimer's together after Jeff was diagnosed about six months ago. He unknowingly had it for five years. Shortly after his diagnosis, his doctor asked him if he would take part in a landmark human trial. I'm very interested in this, but number one, I want to know number one, if I do this, do I have any chance of dying? Because if I do, I'm not doing it. <laughs> and they said, uh, absolutely not. So I said, okay, let's, let's do it. Participants like Jeff received two doses of the nasal vaccine one week apart. It sprays a drug called protolin directly into the nasal passage with the goal of activating immune cells to remove the plaque in the brain. And you're just one of 16 people in these trials, right? That's right, yes. yes. A kind of a difficult decision to make. Jeff received his doses in September and then was monitored until November. They wanted to check every vital sign, everything that could possibly go wrong with my body. He says while he's noticed no negative side effects, he has noticed something different about his memory. My main problem with Alzheimer's is not long-term memory at the moment short-term memory. But recently, I'd say in the last few months or so, uh, because my wife's with me, I seem to have leveled off. I don't think that I've gotten any worse. It's one of the fastest growing diseases in our country. And every day we talk to people that have a connection. Jeremy Cunningham with the Alzheimer's Association says this first of its kind trial is exciting, but it's early. Of those nearly 6 million people that have Alzheimer's in America, over 11 million people provide unpaid care. Early detection and lifestyle choices play into the severity of Alzheimer's and, and slowing the progression and eventually stopping it. I do see in the future, though, that it may be a combination of therapies. We just don't know yet, but this is encouraging. I just turned 70, so I, I figured what the heck, I might as well do something to help other people too. In Salt Lake City, Eliana Sheriff, Fox 13 News, Utah. Jeff was included in phase one of the trials, mainly focused on safety and tolerability of the nasal vaccine. He says he will continue to take part in the trials as needed.